Hello, this is Jer with the series Survivors on this very cold asteroid trying to survive with hard mode. So all the most difficult settings are on, including ravenous dupes, seeing twice the amount of calories. We don't have any printing objects other than dupes from the printing pod. No teleportation. And we're not using wood. So no ice liquefier, no wood heater. Just uh, our own mechanisms such as this here. This is actually, I think, the core of why we've been able to survive. Uh, but all that, and I've just gotten the Cloak of War achievement, which is huge. Now I'm concentrating on the Carnivore achievement. And we're going to go from here. I think from this is the first time I think things are actually looking pretty good. I've got the Cloak of War achievement, which really changed things. So now I can start growing stuff which I haven't been able to do up to cycle 50. I've got five dupes. They've all got uh, warm coats. We're able to get a nature reserve in. I've installed some uh, carpet tiles because I saw stress go up. That's starting to come down a little bit. We've got an incubator. I want to improve that. And I've been working with pips to plant some wild uh, pike apple along here. Well, we also have some in here. And some down here as well. We've got a few stables we're attending uh, to with critters. So I'll be back, make a plan. I think the first thing I'm doing is carving out this area. We're going to bring in a pip to start planting up there. And then we'll get uh, started on cycle 51. Start a cycle 51. And I feel like less micromanagement is needed now. Though I say that, and we're we can up to the trap tube. But uh, we're starting off putting in some hydroponic farm uh, over here. We're going to be growing some of this plume squash. Because I see uh, at least one... No, actually both these critters are starving. There is 8,000 calories of plume squash in the world. So we're putting in at highest priority this critter feeder. Chef's currently on that. And we've got a little bit of surplus of calories. So Chef doesn't actually need to be in the kitchen this particular cycle anyway. So with that, I'm going to select Plume Squash. Let's see here. What do we got? The Bamaths. So we should get that loaded into this guy just so that we can get uh, the, the, those two fed. And we'll start growing our own plume squash. We've got uh, six plume squash that we planted wild. So we'll be able to get uh, harvest that in a little bit. In fact, you know what? I'll mark those to be harvested. So we can bring them in the stable. In fact, if I... Technically, if I relocated them, that would actually kind of be nice, except for the fact that then I wouldn't have to harvest. Hmm. Maybe there is value in doing that, but uh, let's just concentrate on getting things growing first. So Miner has Dago to pass, so I can now actually get into this zone where we can build a pump because we need to send ethanol into these guys. A little bit of power needs to be installed. Let's open up this area just a bit. And I'll build in a door right here just so we can get... I uh, plan to put uh, three pike apple right there. We'll have a space of three. And we'll use uh, phosphorite. And maybe what I'll do is... Bring in a pip in the meantime. So we can start planting. There's a little fox flan. And I think I might just be able to let them do their work and see where we get.
been letting the dupes just do things on their own, but this is a point where I'm going to have to micromanage just a little bit. Got this door going in. I've got a pip plan to go in here so we can actually bring them in now, along with some pike apple seed. Just before minorly. Oh, hold on. We're going to have an issue with where I put that. It did that pip go? Okay, I'm just going to get minor to think about possibly building those two tiles. Oh, they're going to the washroom. All right. What about that pip? Is that, oh, pip was up here. Wrong stable. All right, so that's going to be going up here. We've actually want to separate those two. And where was that pike apple seed? There, we'll get started. Actually, there's two. So we're doing that. We're also combining some pike apple seed together over here and here. It's mover we'll get on that. And I also have a plan. I don't think we'll be starting that uh, this cycle. I want to get over here and start digging up because there's some plume squash. Because even though, oh, and you know what? We'll do a harvest just to try to keep these two guys alive. We had enough so that now only one starving. But we'll see if we can do better. So end of cycle... 51 we've got four of these hydroponic farms created we've got some of the pipe and wiring down but we have to actually build the pump itself so we'll have that up progress up here is trying to create this uh tile so that we can actually plant more pike apple along this path and then we'll be back with cycle 52 shortly Waking up the cycle 52, Miner clearing out this outhouse. I've got a special project for them. So I'll just let them finish with the outhouse first. Come on, you can do it. I know it is uh, cold in there. Mushing out more, probably more ice than anything else. So hopefully we're going to be able to create this tile here today. Mover's going to go around. Collect some seed together. There's mover. Awesome. Wow, that's taking you a good amount of time there, move uh miner. Alright, so I want you to go all the way down here. Hold on, actually. You should probably bring some snow with you. Maybe I'll do this instead. I'll move you there just a second. Let's up the priority of this. See if you take that on. Picking up snow, that's a good sign. Yes, they are heading down that direction. Okay. Let's just supervise mover here for a second. Combining several seeds into one. You know what? Let's just, since I'm here, I'll get them to... Oh, that, that's the flocks. Never mind. Oh, but there is a... Let me just check for any pike apple seed here. All right. Maybe that was the best plan then. Continue on there, mover. I shouldn't have done anything. So they're picking that up. Then they're going to go up here and gather some of that. Mine are going down here. Oh, we already have a snow tile created. Maybe I'll do a harvest. Oh, we already have that set to harvest. Let's do priorities. Up farming for a second here. There, we've got that farm. Now, I don't know if that critter can eat it. They couldn't eat the plant, so I'm thinking maybe they can, but just in case... Let's take that plume squash and move that uh, just out of the way. Remy right there. 
Priorities for Miner. Let's get them up on storing. Take farming back down. There, they're moving that up there. They're heading up to dig. Let's just change the priorities so they just focus on digging. Let's go check on Mover. Mover's grabbing some of the seeds. Maybe I should, uh, before that pip gets actually pushed in there, block off some of that. But we do this. We'll take this. Move that there. We'll take this. Move that there. Move this there. Oh, mover, mover. Come on now. Oh, where are you going? Hungry. Going to dig. Mover. Okay, let's take your digging down. Here we are. Let's check on Miner. Nearly made it to the top. We can actually do a harvest up here. I'm going to get them to do that. Priorities. Miner on farming for a second. Let me get them to move this here. So now we've got 4,000 of that. We'll get to move that, them to move that there. Go to priorities, minor. Now on storing. Going to harvest, hold on. Take their farming back down. There we are, gathering that. Let's just check on mover. Okay, let's take this pike apple seed, combine it up there. Good. All right, I kind of thought I would not be doing micromanagement, but here we are. Uh, let's bring this supplying ranching materials how much do you mm, hold off on that for a second one you to bring as much as you can in one go don't know if that's going to limit it i don't think it will actually nonetheless let's take this move that there going to build mover can you do some or uh minor push that together then I'll get you to take. So four thousand we've got. Oh, I see they're separated. Is there any way I can combine this? Try this. Oh no, 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 no! I hate when that happens. Okay, that warm quote, first of all, is going to come back on. Okay, that did not work. Plume squash is just not combining. Haven't been having a trouble. Haven't been having any trouble with that lately. Let's see if I can do this. Plume squash. There. There. In there, would that do anything? Let's just check on mover. Builder, what are you doing? Oh, you're uh, wrangling that critter. Yeah, that's right. Because I found this guy here that's 79, and there's an egg in here. There's a bunch that's 25, so I figured that guy is good to uh, take out of here. Um... I think movers already left. Vitals while we were trying to combine some stuff. 
Okay, some movers on that. Let's get them to take that. Combine that here, and they will take that. Combine that there. So that should keep them busy. We've got 4,000 calories. It's just not combining. All right, well, I will just let the dupes load that in in time. Actually, before Miner leaves, let's make sure they grab some of that. Hold on, Miner, come on now. There. At least they're picking up some of that. Oh, they picked up all of it. Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense because I actually, yeah, I should have just, I'm getting to the point, I should really just kind of trust them on their own just a little bit more. So now we've got 15 seeds. Let's bring that in here. Just want to have that create it. And where has progress been uh, on this? Okay, still more work on that. I don't think we're going to be getting there on this cycle. Scientists generating a little bit of power. So let's just check if there's any other... Oh, this is actually available. Okay, so we need this taken out. Mover, maybe you do that for us. Excellent. I've created a tile there. Just a little bit concerned about hydrogen spilling over this way. So we're going to actually raise that pump just a little bit. This should give us a tile there that I can get the pip to plant something. We'll take that tile out as well. Mover, maybe you could. Yeah, there we are. Can take that out as well, but that's not as... Actually, you know what? Let's just leave that. That way the pip won't plant anything there. Let's check calories going down. So about three cycles worth of food before we'll have to start cooking. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Let's make sure there's uh, I need to top up some ice. I'll go around looking for that. So just found a little bit of local ice. Going to throw that there and there so that falls down so we can continue to get some water. See these uh, bananas are no longer starving. That won't last for long, so we definitely need to get more plume squash growing. Pip is now free to plant two more of these. Oh, that shareberry. Didn't even notice that. We'll do actually, why don't we just do that? That's just a wild plant that may uh stop that pip from planting my plans. And getting very close. I think we're going to have this system running by cycle 53. We are on cycle 53. I'm going to start off giving out uh, some points here just because morale is much higher. We've got a great haul. We've got a nature reserve. I think we can uh, afford a little bit of extra stuff. So let's do critter, ran uh, critter ranching to give builder extra ability. And the ranching will also give them construction. Chef, how about we give them carrying capacity? Miner. Don't know that we will need uh, that, but how about then? We'll give them carrying ability. Mover, plumbing. And finally, scientist, astronomy, data analysis, researcher. Main thing I'm looking at this cycle is finishing up this little section here so we can start to uh, grow bloom squash. I'll even plant a few of them. Oh, we actually oh. We don't have a lot. Right, right. I forgot I had planted these ones. Okay. Looks like I have to go on a digging mission. So I found some buried objects and have a plan to get down and access several of them. Miner should start on that at some point. 
the meantime, move her down here, installing the pump itself. Also worried about this pip here. Not from their health perspective necessarily, but uh, they're 80. They've got 20 more cycles, 52% reproduction. They're going up 2% a cycle. So what would that mean? 20 cycles at 2% giving us 40%. They're not going to have uh, a pip or lay an egg. So I will make sure that uh, we don't keep them in this cold zone where they don't like it. Uh, for too long but I think we can get a few this uh, pike apple seed planted before then oh look at that we're finding some buried objects it's not growing because oh wait a minute we just need to hold on a second ethanol is on the way aha there we are some plume squash plants Oh, wow. We've already have five. Just three more. Lots of buried objects left to discover. Let's just watch as the dupes go down into this area. A little bit of difficult to breathe down here, but this is definitely going to pay off. There's some plume squash seed. Amazing. little bit stress of builder and miner but that's gonna be going down I suspect over time scientist I might actually see if there's anything they want to research but there's uh, another plume squash seed we may even have enough just one more that needs to be planted look at that so we're gonna have some food for these guys Oh, 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 okay. That's I was going to say. Why are they cramped? That's just because of the egg. Take that out, and maybe it would make sense to make their stable a little bigger so they can support an egg. So now that we've got all this plume squash growing, I'm going to make a change up in the stable just to make it a little bit bigger so we can support an egg. While we're waiting for someone to actually remove it. Actually, just now that I think about it. Only a builder can move that egg if I did that. So actually what I want to do. Uh, can you move out of the way there? Okay. If I specify the egg to go right, right there, mover will have access to drop it off. Because builder is the only one that can actually go in that room. I haven't really been using my incubator, to be honest. But... Uh, Hold on. Where is Builder? Maybe I will see if we can sneak them in. To do a little bit. Where are they off to? It's fire pole. Ranching. Rather have them do ranching rather than uh, use the incubator, though. So that's fine. Okay, so maybe we won't do that this cycle. So yeah, I think the dupes are going on breaks. So this is going to be a project for cycle 54. Cycle 54, and while the dupes were sleeping, I thought, well, instead of expanding this stable, why don't I just relocate the stable to this location where we got some plume squash growing anyways? So we'll do that. I'll just take a moment now to relocate these two guys. Move this guy here. I disconnected that, so probably should bring that back, actually. And we'll move you down here as well. Make the stable big enough to support them, plus an egg. Maybe we'll do this, just so that they can't actually walk past this point. Don't think they can jump over anything. So there is the first one relocated to the stable. Second one on the way. Let's check the pip that's up here. Okay, good. 
We've got a 6-1. Actually, maybe after this, this pip plants something here, we'll relocate that pip to a more comfortable place for them. Let's have a look at calories. 14,000 calories. So we're going to have to start cooking again unless we can get some meat. be nice if we could automate the incubator setup a bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get scientist to research this so we can get an automatic dispenser I'm going to have a look to see where builder is to see if we can maybe do some incubating this cycle oh there's builder there picking up uh, doing some construction material well you know what maybe actually this is the perfect time And been checking my stables for eggs but yeah we definitely need this system to automatically remove eggs so I don't have to manually watch this anymore we'll go through hold on you're gonna be trapped here builder let's do a few eggs we're starting with this uh, bambini egg or two oh we need more power probably because this guy is on Builder, not so happy. You know what? We've got enough water. We can actually cut power. Let's just make sure we remember to reconnect that. Just so we can run our incubator. Here we are. Scientist trying to give us enough power. <laughs> oh, there we are. We made it. Okay, so we've done one. So there's another one in there. Then we'll do a fox flan egg or two. I'll just have a look to see how many we've got. I don't think that's might be the only one actually. Okay, well those are those eggs done. Builder can leave. And I think it's time to relocate this guy. down in here uh, da, da, da. kind of want them to have a food source but also ability to do some ranching maybe we'll drop them off right there wouldn't mind actually having a ranch down here so this is going to be a long way to go it's the on only thing. Why don't we, instead of doing that, let's do this. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to have them stop in and get uh, attended to in a stable. Then we'll have them uh, go down. So we'll just throw them in here for... Actually, you know what? I eventually want this to become a stable. Why don't we just do this? We'll make a stable. We'll make this a stable. We'll get them groomed. Then we'll send them down. There. Just check on our new plume squash that it's still growing good. These guys just ate. Lots of water. That is good to see. Actually, maybe I'll go around now look for some uh, ice that can be added. Okay, checking on these guys. We've got cramped conditions. Definitely need automated way of doing this, but let's remove one of those eggs at least. In fact, we can also expand this. What are we at? Uh, 84. Yeah, let's get this to be a little bit bigger. Let's check the size. Don't want to expand too quickly there. But there is our uh, stable being built up here. Let's go find builders, see if they can 
This only might may not have time to do that uh, this cycle. We'll see. Follow cam. They're all the way down here. Yeah, they're probably not going to be able to uh, both attend to that critter and relocate them. Let's check their schedule. If that's the case, I'd rather have... No, let's, let's have Builder not, uh, not do that just yet. And now that I think about it, I could repair that uh, connection there. Though... Or maybe, yeah, I can just change this. Maybe we don't need that to be as hot. Given the fact that we've got an excess amount of water now, which is nice. This builder coming up. Tending to the flocks. So first thing next cycle, we'll get builder to use this uh, station. And then we'll relocate this pep. I am all excited for Builder to wake up. Let's see, we've got a new uh, fox flying. Builder, let's make sure you're going up to... Let's have you go over here first. Tend to this Pip, if you would. Here we are. Pip is being called over. Pip is tamed, or groomed rather. Now I'm going to specify to have them taken down to some place where it's warmer down here. Make that a priority action. And just bump Builder there. They're now wrangling. And relocating that Pip. And I'm going to go uh, meat builder down at the bottom. So that I can get them to bring another pip up. Builder, just flopping their head along. Dropping off a pip. Let's just make sure they can actually get in. They can. All right, so I need to choose a pip. I'm going to take a wild one. Perhaps I can't actually select this guy. Oh, there we go. We've got 76. We'll take the 76 pip. Move them up here so we can continue on. Let's just bump builders so that they do that before they uh, leave this zone. So there's the pip finding some food. Body temperature low. That's going to come back in time. So only 2% increase right now, but uh, that should fix once they warm themselves up a bit. We'll come back and check on them later. So this pip is on their way up. And I don't know how long it actually takes these critters to get there. Oh, so you can actually watch their current body temperature. Comfortable range is 10, okay, and we've got it at 1.6, so that may take a little bit of time. Maybe it was good to get them down here early. While we're waiting for that pip, I'm getting the dupes to actually complete the work over here. We want to create some natural tiles. We also want to seal off this area. So there's the pip. Currently not able to do anything, but the dupes will get busy here. Starting with the door there. Do a door on either side. So it's going to give us three and three and three. So there's door number one. Oh, look at this. A Bamini. Wild. Okay, so I, I'm going to relocate them. Uh, we definitely don't want to have them in there. I'll just keep them like local, but someplace where they can't get at plume squash. Maybe just right down there. Got uh, two more eggs. One's wild, one is not. So the one that is not wild, I think, is, uh, is food. 
Let's go check on Builder. Obviously, they've got uh, the pip up here. Oh, oh. Ha. Huh. Um, I guess they can be groomed once. That's not going to make them uh, wild. Let's see, but... I didn't even think about that. We want to disable that building. Also get rid of that, too. But Builder, just curious. You're doing some ranching. I feel like it might be time. I think the next dupe is going to be a dupe that specializes in ranching. Because we're going to explode the number of ranches deal with the fact that these guys are ravenous. Twenty-four. Oh! Okay, yes. We need to... Um, okay, so we've had a very long period of being able to uh, survive on this pe pemmican. But uh, we need to get back to mush bars after a big long break not having to do them we're back on that so chef will get busy at that but I very much want to watch builder because if we can get especially this uh, the non wild bambini egg that would be really awesome if we can get at that uh, and it's not what I was hoping for okay so that's all this stuff here. We need to move off. Including the snow. And the ice. And that is cycle 55. So we are very much going to have to make sure that Chef gets busy in the kitchen next cycle. We may have a little bit of shortage here, in fact. Now we've got some frost buns. Okay, we're okay. But yeah, next cycle, I want to see Chef here in the kitchen. Start of cycle 56. Just checking on this team, uh, Pip. It uh, takes a long time. To warm a critter up. They're only at 3.6. 83 cycles. I'm a, a little bit nervous now. Still only going, going up 2%. I think we'll be okay. I figure we just need a couple extra cycles. Them in their ideal state. Uh, getting them groomed before they got down, I guess, did not really do a whole lot. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Once they get warmed up, we'll see about getting them uh, groomed and then sent back down. As long as they can produce one egg, I'd, I'll be happy. Got a natural tile created right there. Start another three there. And as soon as we're able to uh, get that existing, we'll open the doors. Or destroy the doors, actually, for, so that Pip can actually plant some seed. How much? Uh, we got eight seeds. We are good for the next little bit. Chef is in the kitchen. That is very important to see. Get this area fixed up, and then we're going to think about the modification to the incubator after. Just want to make sure this pip can start doing their thing. Let's check these guys. Oh, crammed. Okay. Yep. That incubator or that yeah the incubator setup very much would be nice it is hard to see their eggs because their eggs unfortunately are so small make sure these guys are oh no these guys are still okay, okay we need to uh oh 
there's two eggs at that location. Mover, you are very much needed right now. So there's another set of three wild tiles. Wild tiles, uh, natural tiles. Okay, so these guys are fine. There's Mover. They removed one, that's fine. Okay, after removing one, might as well get the other one out of there as well. Okay, good. With that, I see a Phlox. Let's move a Phlox up here. Actually, they won't be groomed if I move them there. Ah, oh, let's move them there anyway. Oh, you know what I'll do? Uh, instead of uh, kicking down this door, we'll just relocate this pit. Well, if we're going to do that, we're going to have to also relocate all these seeds. But that's fine. So we'll do that. I just need to make sure this area is sealed off before I let the pip room over there. But we also block everything off. Or we don't want things planted. Take that priority down for these. Now that flox isn't being attended to just because I don't want the pip to be groomed. The wildness is at 43%. Rather have them stay wild at this point. Okay, let's relocate them. This builder should be coming up to do that for us. Let's check on their schedule. Yeah, they won't have enough time. All right, I guess we'll start that on cycle 57. You know, I uh, haven't been paying attention into this little stable here with this flox. Currently, this guy is starving. Let's bring them up here. So we'll have two flox up here. We want this pep to be relocated over here. Actually, not just block off that, but actually also we want to block those off as well. No tile right there. Mover. Okay. Or someone. Destroy that door for us. Just want to make sure that I'm around so that they destroy it from the top. Builder picking up that critter. There, if you're oh yep excellent that's exactly what I want see let's put a snow tile right there haha uh -huh. all right so we've got the pike apple and the pip and the first tile that I want to have planted there so we just need to give that pip a little bit of time there it is another pike apple bush growing without having to feed or push anything into it and like the uh, plants down here. And I do a harvest here, I'm going to have to really relocate these guys. If I had to plan that out, I would have put that down here. But anyway, that's fine. Let's take these two out. One and two. And I'll make sure they're blocked off before we... Uh, 
leave that for the pip to plant something where we don't want it. There we are. Let's take those three out. Again, make sure that we block this off from the pip. All right, so the pip will be able to start working on this. Oh, let's enable this so that Builder can actually attend to these guys. And just occurred to me, might be a nice idea, even though I, I put this in. Why don't we put in a shearing station here? Because we're going to need more reed fiber eventually. So I can sit right there. We'll need some power, obviously. Check on these guys. Check on these guys. Uh, all right. I think it is time to start the plan to make a better incubator setup. We're getting rid of our old incubator set up here. Getting back some of the metal. We're also going to be producing just a little bit more metal here in the rock crusher. See Chef busy in the kitchen. That's good to see. Let's check on calories. Okay, 11,000 calories of mush bar. That's awesome. But this is going to be the new setup for the new incubator. Put the incubator itself right there not making that out of mercury this time ramp and we're having to drop off stop uh, or space there for eggs we're going to say basically everyone except for builder can go in there no wait everyone except for builder there we are And I'm very much thinking about getting the next dupe very soon. So with that, I need to start thinking about... Oh, we need a warm coat. Oh, I forgot about warm coats. Oh my goodness. Um, do I have the materials for that? Okay, I do not, but I am going to be getting that... Uh, pretty soon okay so we might be waiting just a little bit longer but I will make the uh, mess hall we'll also actually that's some sleet wheat that we can get access to so maybe I'll just do this get one of these cots set up right there probably don't have enough uh Material, yeah. No, we'll just have to wait for the next cycle where we get a little bit more of that. Cycle 58. I see one of these guys have uh, pr has produced an egg. So I'll just throw that. So maybe as long as the uh, where they're not overcrowded, we won't worry about it. Groomed. Nobody's overcrowded. Oh, whoops. See, we forgot to take out some seed that we didn't want. Try again. Oh, there's another one too, right? That's going to be moved. Chef, making sure we've got enough food. We've got lots of water, but uh, that's getting a little bit low. I might go around and look for a little bit of snow and ice that we can add in here. Builder is quite busy being the only dupe that can do ranching. Definitely something I want to change soon. So I'm just hoping we make progress. I'm not sure that we're going to finish it this cycle, but hoping to make good progress on... Uh, this shearing station and the new incubator setup. So what I've got in here, we're obviously going to plug in this incubator. We're going to get a light source, but I also have this little manual generator. 
which I didn't have in the other setup, which is going to push the uh, dupe back, so I don't have to do that any, every, anymore, which will be really nice. The other th setup, and this is the real nice thing, is I'll be able to get any of the dupes to drop off eggs that have been put in any of these stables. Just make sure that we control access so we don't create an infinite loop of a mover or someone else picking them up and sending them around. Oh, yeah, that's right. No one will actually do this because everyone is low on uh, farming. Get Miner to focus on farming. So they should be up to do that. Miner down here. Doing a little bit of harvesting. I'm gonna take them, redirect them up up this way what I might do is get them to uh, focus on storing well they already are so I want them to remove that as soon as they've taken it out okay that seed there let's get that out of here Might need to up their priority just. Whoops. Take farming back down. Okay, there we are. So we've got that spot free, Pip. Hope I removed all the uh, uh, alternate seeds that I don't want planted there. Oh, wow. Okay, things. Uh, this is. <laughs> Not only has this been installed, okay, this has been a very successful cycle. Did not expect this much, but um, we just need this guy installed. I see some water falling, just curious. Ah. Okay, so this is starting to get a little bit warm, and that's because obviously we've got. Oh, just not just a little bit warm, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, very well. Okay, maybe it actually looks more intense than it actually is. Okay, there we are. In this view, it doesn't look so bad. All right. But all this ice is melting away. Why don't we do... Let's see, I wonder if this is just too much. We'll, we'll make one of these piles just a massive pile. Just so that we don't get to this mess. So what I've done, I've instructed Mover just to drop off some of these pieces of ice. Now we're going to get two huge blobs here. Which means they're going to take longer to convert. But when they do, they'll be a good amount of water. But, oh, there's snow too in the snow as well just to avoid melting turning to water we'll see if we can do some mopping up as well and the other thing I want to do is oh, we'll wait for this uh, incubator to be set up but we'll actually configure this to actually work and have eggs dropped off such as the egg that's in this stable Cycle 59, just curious what we have with size, uh, size here of ice. Six, almost seven tons. Three tons. Uh, not uh, just half a ton. Another half a ton or so. Okay, so that's that. Incubator is being installed. Just before I go and configure that, let's just check. I'm curious on this uh, pip that's tame. Mood glum. Okay, there we are. Body temperature 11. I just need to decide how I actually want to do this. Da, da, da. I could, in theory, bring in... Well, what's the size of this? 75. Yeah, that would work. I will make a grooming station. We'll make that out of... Rustic grooming station? didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, I guess that's what I'm going to make. <laughs> cool. Um... So we're going to build this. We're also, we will relocate this pip to go into this stable. 
We still have some oxy light to create oxygen in there. So it is going to be a long way down to do that. It's liquid chlorine. That's interesting. And that's the incubator. Oh, the other thing. Now that I've got that material, let's make a warm coat. And if I get a new dupe, make sure they've got a carpeted tile to sleep on. And I will go now. Specify all the eggs that I want to move over or out of stables. So the Bambini eggs, the Phlox eggs, those are the two. We'll do that at high priority. And we'll set this up so that no one can go in here except for Builder. And everyone can go in here except for Builder. And there is some Phlox eggs being picked up by Mover. We're dropping it off here. Making sure... Okay, so now... All my stables, I don't have to worry about cramp conditions from eggs. They'll automatically be brought in here. I just need to find some time for Builder to actually use this. But all the uh, eggs are going to be set up. Let's check on... Uh, it might take a bit to do this. Where, what age is this pip? This pip is 86... 62%. Just worried that if I don't bump up prior to here, this will just never get done. Maybe I'll open up that tile as well for a little bit of extra growth from that tree. Let's check on Builder. Maybe it would be good time if they're not working on the stables. Oh, they're going down to relocate that pep. That's fine. Here's Builder on a relocation mission. We also have Mover carving out this spot so we can get in a rustic grooming station. Oh, Builder must be carrying a pep. They are. It's been dropped off. They're going up to uh, do some ranching. Absolutely. Hold on. Just thinking to myself. We're just about to create this thing. Why don't you stay around, rancher? Guess we'll do some ranching before you leave. Let's say, might as well do some ranching before you leave. Okay, well, let's at least let them to do something useful. I'll change priorities. Builder on digging. Take down ranching. There we are. And let's go back to priorities. Builder focusing on ranching. Take down digging. Going to dig? No, you're not. Let's have a look at this thing. I see what I think is a mirror. Side up. Shearing. Bunch of like liquids. And I have no idea what that is. But anyway, fair enough. Build it. Oh. Let's up this to a six. Get them to think about it. There we are. Okay. So this pip is being groomed. I'm going to take this back down to 5. But let's have a look at this pip. So that gives us 17% for this cycle. We'll see. I'll keep an eye on them over time. And see if that's going to be enough. I've got a bunch of eggs dropped off here. So I'm going to get Builder to... This is the thing. Oh, this guy's kind of becoming overcrowded or overflown. Why don't we get in here, dig some stuff out. We 
yeah, I would very much like Builder to actually attend to some of these eggs. Though, if they've got ranching, I'd rather produce eggs than make the eggs that we have hatch quicker. One thing I want to know is our... Oh, our warm coat is now available. Let's have that dropped off down here. Just need to make sure that we've got this guy made. So that whoever's going to be joining us, rancher, will uh, not be too stressed out. Stress has gotten down to 50%. Builder at the top of the list. Don't worry, Builder. We've got a rancher that's going to help you out. Oh, let's make sure I don't forget about this pip. And now I've got to think about, do I pull in, now that I've got a warm sweater, a new dupe? We have our rancher. Someone that has a plus 11 to uh, ranching. Their iron gut, I mean, they're not going to get food poisoning, but they are biohazardous. Caregiver, well, don't really care about that. Not great in the garden. Welcome, rancher. First thing I'm going to do is slow things down. Just make sure that they put on their coat, warm coat, when they arrive. Here we are. They've found a warm coat in this very cold world. They should find uh, their bed themselves. It's already signed to them. Oh, yeah. Why is that? It's not their bedtime. Okay, fine. All right, they're they're assigned a cot. Absolutely. Um, I shouldn't have to do this, but I'll just do that as well. Now that uh, I've got dupes, or I've got plenty of water, I might think about rearranging this room. But I will think about adjusting some of the schedule. At this point, because I think everyone is too close, too similar. As for schedule, this is what I'm thinking. We're going to get Rancher to go in this schedule. So that they can take their break. About one cycle or so after they arrived here. And after everyone else gets some sleep, we're going to break up these guys so that we only have two per cycle. We'll do that at the beginning of cycle 60, which is coming up. We are just waiting for Builder to wake up on cycle 60. I want them to take this flocks. We're going to move them into the stable here. I think we've achieved 96. Yeah, we have. Excellent. So they can go there. Now that everyone is up, I'll make some adjustments to the schedules. So here's what I'm thinking with schedules. I'm getting the uh, two early birds to go down here. So that is minor. And mover. Just realized there's that that needs to be patched up. Okay. So we've got a, a schedule where these guys wake up. This is kind of like the default schedule. I want to put Builder there because they've got the crit ranching skill. Now, right now, uh, I don't have another dupe that has the skill, but Rancher will eventually have that. But the idea is when the morning hits, that'll be my reminder to go in the incubator room if we need to. Uh, so I only want two dupes over here. Maybe we'll make Chef part of that. Scientists can come down here with Rancher. Then we've got uh, a split. So only two dupes per schedule. And we'll roll with that. Now I just need to... I think I'm going to finish here pretty soon, but I'm just going to figure out what we're going to do with the rest of cycle 60. Start off by getting that there. I also will have uh, Builder relocate... One of those flocks in there. Maybe even investigate something that we can research. There's the flocks being moved. Builder relocating that. And I think I have decided what I'd like to do for a research project. Let's do portable gas. So we can get some uh, gas masks on these guys. They can go around further outside the core and explore without having to worry about oxygen because the oxygen is getting quite thin uh, further out we go from that base itself. Though the two electrolyzers here are functioning well, 
As long as we keep providing them with water, I think we'll be okay. Actually, let's just take a moment now to add in some more ice. Put in some right there. And we'll put in some right there. Let's also check on, I know these two on the left are a little bit bigger. Uh, minus 12 at seven, almost seven tons, and minus 10 at three and a half, almost tons. With the rest of this cycle, I think we're going to go up towards the top of the base, carve out an additional stable. So we've got one stable here. Well, eventually this will just be one stable together at 96. Once this pip is done planting some of that pike apple. And we'll just expand over here with the second one. Taking advantage of where temperature is right to put these uh, critters and the uh, pip as well. So we're going to open up this area. And I think in the next episode, we'll continue on with uh, uh, two more stables up in this zone and maybe even one further up. We also need to think about stables involving uh, these little steel critters. So we'll have to look at that as well. Didn't want to forget for next time. So actually, let's just bring this guy up. Going to copy that to be hydrogen. Destroy that. But uh, I just put in a marker here. Oh, that doesn't actually work, does it? Why is that? Ah, I see. Okay, fair enough. Um, seems very inefficient to go around that way. I might open up. Put a door there, though. Open up a path like this. Just so that I can, you know, just thinking about the tallow. We want to get access to more of them. So we'll explore out in this way. That might be next episode. And we'll also explore out in this way. So we can see if we can reach any more. Something is too cold over there. That might have been the shine bug, maybe. Anyway. More on Talos next episode. Let's just make sure. Oh, this pip is ready to uh, plant. This is going to be the final one, I believe. Of this stable. So we'll continue on this direction over there. Oh, and finally, let's just make sure this gets plugged in before I forget. There, we've got a new... Pump just a little bit higher. Let's just verify that it actually is connected to automation. It is good. So we've got that plus our smart battery. Let's also assign some skills. See, so we have builder. I'll give them construction. Chef. Maybe we'll give them tidying. Miner, either thinking construction or carrying. Let's give them construction. Mover. What to give mover? Oh, I know. I need to at least one other dupe I'm thinking that can dig through granite. So mover can take that even though they're not the best at digging. And then Rancher, well, they can't actually use this skill yet, but I eventually want to do Critter ran Ranching, so we'll do that and we'll give them their, their uh, hat so I can remind myself of what their specialty is. Well, I think that is it for this cycle and this episode. Thank you so much for watching. It is going pretty good. I think la at the end of last episode, we really hit a turning point. And from this point on, I see multiple dupes here sleeping, even though they're in different schedules. But uh, they'll hopefully get caught up or get in sync, the new schedule system that we've set up for them. And hopefully I will see you next time where we'll continue on and I will try to get the carnivore achievement. And just before I leave, let's actually see where I am on that one. Carnivore. We are one-fourth of the way, a little bit more. All right, till next time.